Happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir. I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Run along now, child. You may wait quietly. Very quietly. Bye now. I wish I could do something wild and exciting. Like Ooh, look at the, the pretty big city flower. With a boy. Would you mind giving me a hand? I'm sure he was just kidding when he called me annoying. Hey, you look nice. This is for you. This is so sweet. Hey, buddy. Nice lip gloss.
heard like 10 people made out here. In this assignment, I'd like you to pay particular attention to the emotions you experience and try to get them onto the page. It's all right, Jimmy. I have days like that, too. Dr. Krabblesnitch is busy. Hi! Get it. Stop that immediately! Don't blame me. In this assignment, I'd like you to pay particular attention to the emotions you experience and try to get them onto the page. certainly captured my character, I think. Very talented. Damn, I'm good! All sorted. Do you ever start a rumor about yourself? I'll knock you down a peg. 
Hopkins, we you don't belong run. here. Get out! Wimps, it's time for some wrestling instruction. All right, let's try something else. A duel you will have, foul villain. I have so many years ahead of me. I'm Don't gonna die of embarrassment. I shall maim thee. Another crushing blow, from fatty. Why am I such a doofus? I love the sound of boys hurting each other. My tender soul crushed. Can my esteem fall any lower? You don't want to touch me. My smell is contagious. Another crushing blow from Fatty. That's better, Hopkins. Stop moving around. Ugh. Please. No. Please. I, I have nervous bowels. I'm gonna die of embarrassment. My mom still thinks I'm a winner. Hey, fight fair! Boys, Ooh, I want you to give her everything you've got! Ugh, yeah. oh, please. <laughs> Wipe that grin off your face, Hopkins. You're not as good as you think. No sweat. Performance anxiety. <laughs> Get 
ain't used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. Ha ha ha! Well, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <She's gross>. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you find anything? Do we not have what you want? My friend. Mine. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. 
Keep the window shopping outside, fool. Where you Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth! It'll last for a month! Nice work, Jimmy. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh, You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of pressure. Ugh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed-up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. It looks like Hattrick and Gale. You! What are you doing? That's What's disgusting! What's going on? Disgusting! I think I'll keep this. IT 
tell you he's a drunk. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. You'll see. You won't get away with it. Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please, take this. And done. I get left back and nothing you. Machine, you fool! Man, you in your hmm. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. after this fight, if there's anything left. On, a fight? Oh, how very amusing. That looks like it hurt! A fight? Oh, how very amusing. We Kick want out. Blood. I still think Hopkins will lose. Kick him to the Johnson! I want to <laughs> see some That's blood. the best you can do?! Like my shoes? They're genuine puffy leather. Oh, don't worry. Jimmy's tough. I could do so much better, you know? Hopkins is surprisingly tough. Better, you know. Be glad I don't enter the fray. 
a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up.
Jimmy comes through again. Did your mom... Jimmy Hopkins. Good deed done. Can I say? Please, couldn't you try to dress a little better?
It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. Dollars on the dumb looking one. That looks like it hurt. Twenty dollars on the dumb looking one. Come on, make him bleed. There's another round after this. Fifty dollars says that Hopkins is going to bite it. Oh, don't worry. Jimmy's tough. Hopkins is surprisingly tough. I could do so much better, you know. Hopkins, you're pathetic! That's how it's done. Job well done. Thanks, kid. Okay, now let's train. Good to see you haven't forgotten me. This was my favorite.
good work. Now go out there and kick some ass. You're just a damn drunk. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. Glad that's done. Would you please dress appropriately? Shouldn't you be in class? Do you really think you're rebelling? Be Listen, pal, help a poor, desperate fella out. The customers will love Everything these crabs. Will be fine. Now, can we talk about... That's for me. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular with the better class of students.
You'll be the talk of the town with your new garments. Goodbye. So much stuff just lying around. I can't allow you to stay with behavior like this. Run along, kid. Get to class. This looks useful. Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheik. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah? So what? Yes, well, enough uh, about uh, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old Hattrick. We don't like what he did to that old Soak Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> So, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no. I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Thank you for shopping at Yum Yum! I miss my Take son! Care. Original? Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. 
smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No, because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not going to take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this, Papa. Inbred, am oh, I? Oh, well. I guess I must beat you. Do you like a little school scary? Oh. How could you? Oh, Daddy! Oh. Don't you wish? I have a key. That's oh. not trash. Why did you have to do that? My family doomed with my lineage destroyed. <laughs> Is my face okay? Oh, gee. Great! Another job well done. I got a job that only you can... You really should be in school.
you never really had a chance. I think we can call that a wrap. I can do it.
simple. You can count on Jimmy. Hey, you have fun.
think we can call that a wrap.
Was there ever any doubt? And done. I'd find a use for that.
tried. That counts for something. That was easy. Listen, pal, help a poor, desperate fella out. This one looks a lot. Mutated. Oh well. All right.
Have you been to a job fair before? Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah, I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me. So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. Maybe I can make Daddy divorce her when she gets older. By your own It's just not fair! I don't see why something like this should happen! You are a burial or cremation! <laughs> Watch it, Woods! <laughs> you are my toy! Do you understand? You got a problem with me, Wimp? You're dead! You don't mess with me, ever! I learned this! Here comes your pound cake! why something like this should happen. I was just looking for one of those. I was thinking of you when I got them. Thanks, Jim! Seriously, you. thank you! Choices are what you need to work on. You're dead! Not such a good start for the Hopkins boy. I won't be able to go it alone. Listen, pal, help a poor, desperate fella out. These guys we don't should have another many party lies. at Harrington House tell. and invite the jocks. I don't see why something like this should happen. Last time I drank cough syrup. For you, baby. Thanks a bunch, Jimmy. Boy is so dangerous. I'm gonna have to and find so the house exciting. next door. That is unbelievably disgusting! Maybe I can 
I'll remember this forever. Hmm. <laughs> I just Bad wanna idea. play sports, that's all. <laughs> that's great, Jimmy. If only you'd been born into my social circle. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. All right. I think I've helped to make a difference in this town. This is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe he's done this to me. Oh, and those are so beautiful. Three minutes. What does he think I am? A tramp? Ugh. I hope something important happened, like he's dead, because otherwise there's no excuse. Did you say you're waiting for Darby? Yes. I don't really like him, but he's my cousin and our family wants us to get married. You know, keep up the tradition. Wait, marry your cousin? You know, it used to be brother and sister until it was made illegal. My aunt has four thumbs. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not marrying him now. He's humiliated me. So, uh, what do you say you and I go out and leave Darby to another cousin? Great! You know, I'll meet you at the carnival tonight. Jimmy, I'm really starting to like you. I love cashmere and cashmere love. I walked right over to Bullworth and asked about... I can be a little... Taking bribes from You're pharmaceutical going to rep school in and the I don't sky. Mean the free money. Cremation. You better not damage my clothes. I'm an you excellent boxer, so you know. Well, great. I learned this move from my dad. You better not own. Um, a little courtesy would be nice. Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! Let's go pick up the bear now! This was so exciting. I should become an
Here's your trash. <laughs> I mean, prize. Great date, Jimmy. You're such a bad boy, Jimmy. It's a very... I'm good. That's all there is to it. You are messing with the wrong chap.
evening, sir. You, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research, to check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girl's dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh!
I'll see you soon, Jimmy. My doctor is so handsome and so <laughs> Clear. How can I be expected to survive? I wish I could see R rated movies. Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy. It's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of the school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. My shiny bike's at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. I'll beat you for that. I am going to beat you now. 